Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Irish Tech, right? This is the uh, review of the Core Liquid Meg S360 from MSI. And before we get into the benchmarks, I've got a few uh, opinions and I want to tell you my thoughts on this product as first at first hand. Um, the, the pump, the block, as well as the housing for it is quite bulky. Uh, it was a, a tad difficult to get it situated correctly because of the amount of cables. Uh, it was quite hard to get that housing to stay. Now, that could be the fact that obviously I put it this direction instead of doing it the conventional way is up on top so the, you know but obviously this case can't do it on the top so i've had to do it in the front Stephen gamers nexus would probably give me gripe about that but personally it does not make much of a difference yeah air gets trapped up but all you gotta really do is flip your system upside down and try and get that air out simple as that it does not make much of a difference over time yeah it might, might do but I don't really think the hype you give with that positioning of your AIO was exactly the best thing to do. Did it for views, which is something I'm trying to do. Yeah. So, uh, the performance benchmarks that I've done is I've run four CPU based tests and then I've run two gaming tests because the CPU based test is just going to load the CPU fully 100% that gives you an idea on how much how much this AIO can handle now the system is a Ryzen 3600 it isn't overclocked it's basic with PBO in enabled so it runs at whatever frequency it wants with the amount of voltage it wants and it's got DDR4 3616 gigabyte. It's got an MSI Tomahawk motherboard. It's got a Samsung 980 NVMe SSD for the boot as well as gaming. Uh, it's got an RTX 3070. And then it's also housed in the 500DX from Be Quiet. Now, one feature that I really like about this AIO is that that IPS display my first time ever trying an IPS display and I really do think it's a, a fantastic feature I wish Corsair would send me one please but you know they, they said no but I'm really chuffed that MSI decided to send me one so what we're doing now is in full performance mode so that it means pump the fan that's on there as well as the silent fans on the AIO go completely 100% and then I've put this into a silent base mode which the silent base mode is what this is meant to this is a silent variation of the core liquid line <laughs> Some of the features that I really like on this AIO is the fact that you can put uh, an image, a video, you can customize your banners, you can do system clock, you can even do the weather. So if you're in a hot sunny day and you want and you don't want to turn, you want to leave off your consoles and you just want to go on the computer for a bit, set that up to your location. Obviously it's going to work with Windows, you have to have your location um, ping and stuff on so that they can tell where you are. I haven't because I don't believe Microsoft needs to know where I am. Okay, yeah. But the hardware monitor side is where I really like. Now, what I will do is I will show you the temperature. Boom. Done. Now, at the moment, this is in its silent mode. 
the fans ain't even spinning so it's basically using up all the heat and this radiator is just going to absorb it so that's a, a very neat feature as well yeah, that, there is about a three to four dif uh, degree difference between silent and full mode it's due to the fact that the, these fans unless it hits a certain temperature the fans won't even power on which is very very quiet the only thing i heard in this system was the be quiet fan at the back <coughs> because it's got a little bit of a tick that could have been because of uh in chipping but that is the only thing i could hear i couldn't hear anything else well except for the gpu really the gpu that fan those fans are ridiculous but that that doesn't matter this in silent mode was fantastic now it is sitting at 34 uh, 39 celsius idle at the moment not doing anything and these fans are not even spinning at all no spinning at all zero rpm and i can actually show you that now now if you look by right here right below there it is right this is in silent mode Silent mode, which is below. Now, the performance graphs now is below. The fans, they're at 0 RPM. The pump is at 1744, and it jumps down to like 1500. And the water block fan, that is at 0, uh, 0 RPM as well. So something I really want you to hear is when I put in the full speed, because it is loud. So, here we go. Yeah, it does take a couple of seconds. And here we go. Yeah, the pump is rather loud. Oh. I hope you can hear that. Oh. Believe it or not, that is our little fan underneath this housing. That is going at uh, 3,900 RPM. That is ridiculous. Obviously, you can customise it to your own uh, audible frequency. You, know, you, can, you can do it to what you think is comfortable here. <laughs> but me personally... If I was a gamer who didn't care about sound, this would really annoy me after a while. Very loud. Very. So, yeah. Right, let's turn that off because that's starting to give me a headache. It does take a little while. It takes a few seconds before the software actually kicks in. Now it's starting to go down. Now it's starting. Something I will say is these fans do push a lot of air. A lot of air. Now the radiator is quite warm because obviously the fans weren't spinning in silent mode, so. Right. Do I recommend this? Um, for my first IPS display AIO, it's expensive at £250. But this is a very good AIO for the, the the feature set you get now majority of that money is due to the fact that it's got an IPS display and it's got all these nifty features now I personally personally if I was going to buy an AIO I would buy this version but I wouldn't buy the one without the RGB because I'm an RGB nut. I know that they do a version of this with the RGB, which is slightly less. This is more of their premium base products. So it's going to come with features as well as the overall quality. I will say the overall quality of this AIO is fantastic. Even down to the box, looks premium. So I'd recommend it to you. But these, the my opinion on this is for the price... I don't like the price. I do wish there was a little bit lower in price, maybe £200. But the way Corsair, as well as NGXT have placed theirs, NGXT, I believe, is around the 200 odd mark, 
and Coach has even more. So I think you're getting a lot of money for your, I, get, I think you're getting a lot of value compared to the competition. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Richard from Welshie Terry. I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.